The Radioactive Rant podcast contains explicit language. Listener discretion advised. Here we go. Zero filter, zero cooth. Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Oh boy, this <laughs> is radioactive rant. Yeah! You know, uh, some who know me, yeah, might say that I'm disappointed quite often. That's true about many things. <laughs> And rightly so, but uh oh, me and Brenda, we were watching our niece's daughter a few days ago, <laughs> and the kid, unprompted, just blurts out, "I'm so disappointed." Now, a three-year-old saying, "I'm so disappointed," I don't think it's the norm at all. No. And at that point, I was informed that apparently I say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Again, for good reason. I was going to say, she picked up that up she from did. someone, yeah. and it was probably you. Clearly, she heard me yeah. and uh, repeated it a lot. Good I for her. Add. She's a parrot, that one, like all kids are yes. at that age. And that's not good, at least around me, it's not good. Or me, yeah. Next thing you know, she's going to be saying, <laughs> <laughs> Twat lips, you know, stuff like that. That would be really entertaining. Let's hope that doesn't Good happen. Man. Anyway, yeah. so you just got back from Florida. Yeah. Orlando. Orlando. Was it a good trip? Where did you go? You went to Disney Yeah, all World. this shit. Okay. Disney, what was it? The uh, Magic Kingdom yeah. and then the Animal Kingdom. Oh. Which is just the surrounding of Orlando is the animal kingdom. Sounds horrible. It's scary outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did oh you my. like the trip, though? <clears throat> it was good. It was okay. a good trip. Went with the in-laws. And it was a good trip? <laughs> <laughs> really? It was like having two extra kids. My father-in-law oh. would wander off, <laughs> and my mother-in-law is very needy. Oh. So it was like, ah, already got two kids. Don't need yeah. more. So why did they go? But to watch the kids. So the reason why we went yeah. is because there was a timeshare, <laughs> you know, spiel. Yeah, sucker. My, uh, my wife was like, oh, we get three nights free. Let me back in, up here. At the Hilton. Let me stop here. sit there and listen to this shit. How many timeshares did you purchase? Twelve. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm not a... I did not partake. My wife did not, definitely did not partake. Okay, good. She, she loves saying no. Well, there so, you go. Yeah, they they ended up just kicking us out of the uh, spiel. Oh. Saying, These people are not, they're not going to buy. So just give them the thing and yeah, then get, get them out, out of here. here. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> they're like, all right, you you earned your free night stay. But, but fun. But uh, yeah. Okay. It was an hour and a half spiel. Of oh, hey, you want a timeshare? You want a timeshare? Yep. Look, I can make it make sense. How many idiots do that? You know, How many? I I it has s- to work. I swear to God, there were they were buying. I'm there, sure there was a couple down the a couple of cubicles down. They were wow. like celebrating. I'm like, you <laughs> effing idiots. Wait, wait, celebrating what? <laughs> celebrating pissing their money away. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I see. All right. Well. Yeah. If you own a timeshare out there, idiot. Yeah. Sorry, but no, I'm not. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Um, I'm gonna bring up yet another documentary oh. that's out there. Yeah. Now this one is about Brooke Shields. I like Brooke Shields, and oh, it's no. called Pretty Baby Brooke Shields. Okay. Now it's an ABC News documentary. It's streaming on Hulu. Ah. Uh. Like everything else. Right? <laughs> yeah. I got something streaming on there. And I got to tell you, it's an extraordinarily unsatisfying documentary. Oh. It's very hard to get through, at least for me. Uh Uh-huh. It's just over two hours long, but it took me a week to get through (laughs) all of it. It's in two parts for some reason. But it's about her struggling to find her own voice, her own way. 
Oh, After God. years of being told what to do by everybody, her mom, directors, producers, other celebrities, and I'm thinking, really? That's an actress. <laughs> Isn't that the job of oh an actress? And exactly. Actor? Yeah. Brooke Shields, she's 57. Is she? But she's interviewed wow. ad nauseum. Uh-huh. Okay, now, she was called the face of the 80s. Yeah. She was on hundreds of magazine covers, probably yeah. thousands when she was a kid. What jeans were was, was she uh, We're going to get to that. For? Okay. We're going to get to that. Okay. Now, in this documentary, you see Brooke Shields' face and body at every age, from every angle, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> hundreds okay. of fo- thousands of photos from her long career as a model and yes. an actor. Yeah. And creepy Calvin Klein of took advantage oh, of her looks. That's right. Making her the spokesperson for Calvin Klein jeans. Remember? Of yeah. course, she just said it. I can, I can see him going to Epstein Island a couple of times. Overtly sexual content of in course. these television ads. Now, she said at the time... She had no idea about the sensual theme of the commercial. Oh, come on. And she was just having fun acting. That's horseshit. Okay. Yeah, I'm having fun. Uh-huh. She was a teenager. She knew Yikes. perfectly well what she was doing in those commercials. Again, abu, ahu, <laughs> I'm crying for you. Uh, and um, then they carved out all these hens <laughs> like the Laura Linney. Oh, Drew Barrymore, uh-huh. Alexandra Wentworth. They come out of the woodwork to put in their two cents because they're, of course, Brooke Shields' best friends. Drew Barrymore is everyone's best friend. I met her. I know you did. <laughs> I tell that to everybody. <laughs> you should. Anyway. Now, you know who Alexandra Wentworth is? She's the wet no. blanket wife of another wet blanket, <laughs> that dick fluffer George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> You don't know who she is? <laughs> no, but okay, I, know, I, I know who uh, Snuffleupagus is. Okay. Yeah. She's the schmoopy girlfriend on a Seinfeld episode. I think it was the soup Oh, schmoopy. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great episode except oh, for her. No soup for you. Exactly. That's right. She's the girlfriend that they were, they were the schmoopy. Gotcha. No, you're schmoopy. Yeah. Ah. She makes bland <laughs> look bland. <laughs> if that's possible. Huh. And she, by the way, she makes John Tesh look, look exciting. Bland. She's the executive producer on this show. Shocker. Oh, of course. Moving on. Okay. So Brooke Shields, alcoholic mother, a notorious stage mom. Yeah. She greenlit every single acting situation for her daughter mm-hmm. in explicit coming of age type films like Pretty Baby. Blue Lagoon, Blue Lagoon, Endless Love, starting when she was 11 years old. What the hell? Now, can I please uh. set up this disturbing 1978 film called Pretty Baby? I've okay? never seen it. Now, the movie is set in seven, or the movie is set in 1917, so it's okay. Okay. All right? So here, here's the premise. A New Orleans hooker, played by Susan Sarandon. <laughs> Okay. That right there should tell you everything. <laughs> the end. So she meets a photographer at her brothel. Uh-huh. And after he photographs her, he befriends her 12-year-old daughter named Violet Brooke Shields. Oh, no. Violet Brooke Shields, uh-huh. 12-year-old, playing, 11-year-old playing a 12-year-old. Oh. Okay. She is brought on as a working girl, a prostitute, by her mother's madam. You get following all this? Okay. The mom skips town to get married, and Violet quickly loses her innocence. That's Uh pretty baby. Okay. I will never watch that. So Brooke Shields and her mother, a single mom, yeah, both knew that Brooke was the only source of income, (laughs) and her mother put her out there. Uh, She really did. She's like, cha-ching. And she was, of course, appearing in commercials at a very young age, which rolled into movies, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Now- this documentary, I think, tries to reveal you the think? real person behind the sex symbol. Uh huh. But I think that's how it pulls in viewers. Oh, that's yeah. With that's 17 it. billion pictures and videos of Brooke Shields during her modeling and acting career, which just reinscribes the terms of her worth. That was brilliantly put by me. <laughs> yes. Think about that. You use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore. 
motherfucker. I try. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, there's a thread that runs through the whole thing that she didn't have a mind of her own, though. Yeah. Did everything I mean, everyone told her to do. You're just a teenager or not a preteen. Yeah, I don't know if I buy it, though. getting, uh, you know, no. sold. I, no, I did not fall into that rabbit hole. She uh, went to Princeton. She wasn't stupid. Well, yeah, by okay. then she knew what was going on. But her whore mother. Dennis, your mother is a dirty, dirty whore. Oh, God damn. I don't you know, know if she was. No, I don't think she was. a. Oh, well, she whored her out. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll the, agree with her that. Her madam? <laughs> no. Uh, whatever. Hey, by the way. Yeah. Pretty much all the reviews of this documentary are people licking her butthole. <laughs> like people have done for most of her life. <laughs> Literally? <laughs> Literally. And uh, figuratively. Okay. <laughs> what this documentary did show uh -huh. was what a little spoiled piece of shit <laughs> baby Andre. Is it Andre? Andre Agassi? Oh, Andre. Andre I Agassi yeah. was. And probably still is. He's a piece of shit. That shit never Let changes. He's a dick with ears. <laughs> he literally is. He went from a mullet to, oh, yeah. just... to bald. Shaved his head. Bald. You know, they were married for a few minutes. Oh, right? yeah. I okay. remember that. So she was doing this guest appearance on Stupid Friends. That's a stupid oh, show. God. As Joey's ex crazy girlfriend, I guess. Uh, but anyway, I hate friends. Check I this was out. A Seinfeld guy. She had a scene where she's acting like a weirdo and she uh -huh. licks Joey's hand or something like that. Okay. And Andre Agassi goes nuclear. Oh, in real life. Yes. He goes home uh -huh. and smashes all of his trophies. Wimbledon, French Open, uh -huh. all of them. <laughs> and he had a bunch of them. Good for him. Yeah. He, he was good at the tennis. Think about that. What a little shit bitch. Yeah. I mean, what? I couldn't believe that. She's like, yeah, he broke all of them. Yeah. He's, he was notoriously just a stupid idiot. Spoiled brat. I think I said he's, Wimbledon. It's Wimbledon. Wimble yeah. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, he smashed his uh, Vector brand new sports car. Because something was wrong with it. And yeah. he just like. <laughs> drove it into a light post or something like that. He's a baby. Just to get the uh, the cash settlement. Then, Brooke Shields, she had a kid with her second husband, some milk sop, oh. some schlub producer, writer, director, yeah. or something. And she went through postpartum depression and wait for it, she wrote a book about oh, it. Of course. And some of the stuff she said was going through her head about her newborn. Uh huh. I thought she should have been locked up. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and by the way, Tom Cruise did not appreciate any of the postpartum drugs she was taking. Oh no, no. Yeah, he was very vocal about that. Yes. And the reason he didn't appreciate any of it was that he didn't agree with it. Right. You know, of he's course. an expert on postpartum depression, well, as he is on everything. <laughs> yeah. Think about that. Is that when he was having a fit on the uh, what was that? Good morning today or today show. Yeah, I think um, it was that. Amer morning America. Morning. Yeah. And he was laying into uh, Matt. Matt Lauer. Yeah. The raper. Yeah. Matt Lauer. <laughs> but he's an expert on everything. Yeah. Just to ask Katie Holmes. Oh. Anyway, a lackluster documentary. Yeah. Unless thousands of Brooke Shields pictures and videos of her when she was young <laughs> is your thing. Oh. I don't know. And I'm I seeing mean, this. When she was older, yeah, I had a crush on her. And the course. whole time I was watching it, I'm thinking, why am I sitting here watching yet another yeah, privileged celebrity whine about how hard they have it? Yeah, she went through some rough times. Yeah. Okay? After she graduated college, she was not so much of a hot commodity. Mm -mm. And a Hollywood person showed some interest, took her out to dinner to apparently talk about a movie role, okay? Yeah. Then they went to his hotel room where uh -huh. he said he was going to call her a cab and the asshole sexually assaulted her. Uh, she didn't mention who the scumbag was. Listen, I get it. Everyone has turmoil in their life. There's always tragedy. Uh huh. You know, right? <laughs> but, oh, I'm rich. I'm wealthy. I'm well-known. Yikes. I'm going to end it here, but <laughs> End it. Towards the end of the documentary, there's a scene where Brooke Shields sits with her family at a table for a meal with her two teenage girls uh -huh. and her milk sop husband. Yeah. 
a meal they all prepared, by the way. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> wow. You, really, you thought that was staged? And the mm. girls, the teenage girls, basically <laughs> lecture their mother. Uh-huh. Pretty much the norm nowadays. Yes. But they're lecturing her while her husband, the man, sits there quietly observing all of this nonsense. He's supposed to do that. Yes. In today's society. Just be quiet. Obedient. Uh Uh-huh. And I will end it on this note. Okay. The term have agency was overused, to say the least. I mean, every other word. I have agency. Yeah. (laughs) This world is sewer, man. (laughs) I'm so fucking done with it. It's like the word content now. Was that interesting? Oh. Did you see it? No. Have you heard about it? I've heard about it, but... uh, Do yourself a favor. Stay away. I just told you the whole thing. I read the description. What is it? Hulu? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I want to see this. This seems a little... uh, I'm just glad I got to use the word milksop. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Not sure what that is. Wait. Is there some agency to it? There is a... It's a person who lacks courage. Ah, you that's know, a doormat. Perfect. That's him. Yeah, it is. Whatever his name is. We're going to move on to a quick recap of what we talked about in the last podcast to get everyone in the loop. Yeah. Because we're going to read a few text messages from listeners, and most of the messages refer to the previous episode. So on the last episode, we served up our opinions on the adult websites, Pornhub and OnlyFans. Yes. And how they're poisoning kids. Uh-huh. And adults. Everybody. We also wondered why Rob Lowe is a spokesperson for the Atkins diet products and other sundry items we talked yes. about. And you, listener, <laughs> can go to RadioactiveRant.com to get in touch with us. Go to the contact page. That's where you can find out how to message us. That. All that. You can message us. I'm tired. Uh, I here's messages. Good. Well, you just had a long trip. Yeah. I haven't done one damn thing. God only knows what I got down there in Orlando. Yeah, thanks for bringing it in here. No problem. Really appreciate it. Here's messages from uh, (laughs) Sawyer, Battle Creek, Michigan. The discussion about the damage that can be done from online sites like Pornhub and OnlyFans was revealing good job, dudes. It was a good job. Don't call us dudes. Pat myself on the back. Russell, Salem, Oregon. Oregon? Oregon. It's Oregon. Oregon. You guys appear to know way too much about porn websites. Not that there's anything wrong with that. (laughs) And that's the scumbag portion of our audience. So thank you, Russell. Yeah, thanks. Nathan Lincroft, New Jersey. You said that porn has gotten more graphic with more outrageous sex acts now than in the 70s. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. What? Everything that's around now has always been around and has been around way before the 1970s. I find that hard to believe. I'm not going to do research on it, though. Maybe, but now it's being filmed. It yeah, may I've been out there. Listen, I'm just going but, by what I saw on that Pornhub documentary. Yeah. And this guy's <sighs> in Jersey, probably the birthplace of the gangbang. <laughs> ah! So whatever, Nathan. <laughs> Amber, Overland Park, Kansas. I have to do... <laughs> Fuck. What's going on? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Amber, over the baby. I have to agree that Rob Lowe looks pretty hot for his age, but he definitely shouldn't be in a diet food ad. No. He is hot. Yeah. There's no question about that. Lance, Richfield, Utah. You're an asshole. Yeah. Who the hell says that a girl they dated in high school smelled like she was baking a salmon in her underwear? (laughs) Well. Well, personal experience, I guess. Exactly. Someone who dated a girl Uh that smelled like she was baking a salmon in her underwear. Yeah. That's who. And there's your message. Those were your messages. Those were your messages. Uh, 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 There you go. That was fun. Oh, man. (sighs) Speaking of baking salmon. Okay. So we went to the beach while we were down there in the Orlando area. Okay. Ooh. There's no beach in Orlando. No, no, no. 
Do I got you. Do east. east. Okay. Not good beach. Whatever no. beach we went to. <laughs> Most ugh. Florida beaches are just like that. It was. Maybe in the panhandle they're nice. White sand. but Strewn with seaweed everywhere. Yeah. You had to go over that to get to the actual beach. Yeah. And. Mm. Uh, what do you expect? I mean, it's Florida. Yeah. Yikes. The, the uh, clientele down there. Nice. Mm-hmm. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I know. All right. Glad you're back. Aren't I'm you? glad I'm back. I know. Yeah! All right. We're going to move on to the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. <laughs> <laughs> I found these cards out in my garage, minus the game, just the cards from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Don't ask us why. We just do them. Just the cards. Just the cards. No game, game was gone. Board, no box, nothing. So I hauled them in here. We read them on this show. And yeah, here's your first one out of four. Please let it be Green Acres. It's not. Oh. N- wait, is there a connect? No, it's not. What was Sergeant Carter's first name on Gomer Pyle? <laughs> huh? Uh, Vincent. Vincent. Vince Carter. No. Nope. Not in a million years would have got that. All right, on taxi. What cab company did the gang work for? What was the name of the cab company? That's pretty easy. Oh. Was it the Sunshine? Well, yeah, I'll give it to you. Taxi cab. The Sunshine Cab Company. Nice job. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Got his start on there. And did, was that Danny DeVito's? No, Mm -hmm. he was in uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, he was in a movie, but yeah, yeah, a sitcom. Oh, my God. That was a good show here's your third one all right who was the famous colombian coffee bean picker what was his name oh wow well, you're gonna get two right yeah you might get three actually juan valdez nice job yeah. there. here's your With fourth one. donkey getting the beans you should get this one okay i don't know what is the name of al bundy's bah what is the mother <laughs> What is the name uh, of Al Bundy's secret society club on Married with Children? I think that's really easy. Oh, man. Really? No, ma'am. No, Member? ma'am. Member? Stands for National Organization. Fucking <laughs> suck balls. <laughs> National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. What? It stand no ma'am stands for the National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. That makes wow. sense. Wow. I <laughs> did not know that. And that's the Trivial Pursuit TV trivia question. Thank God. Man, I used to love that show. Christina Applegate. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on now. Yeah. I, I think I say that with every segment. I think that just is implied. It's, it's, it's just because we're moving we on. We are moving on. So I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's the Radioactive Rant Celebrity Rant. It's where we call out celebrities that bother us. It's mainly famous people that should not be famous. I agree. That's it. Who do you have? Joel Osteen, pastor, senior pastor. The religious guy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move away from you. From when the lightning strikes? It's going to strike him, I think. Okay. He says he draws no salary from the church, but he's got a 17,000 square foot house. Yeah, he's lying. 17,000 square feet. That's a lot. That's a lot of houses. (laughs) It is. In one house. Wow. Uh, He's been shown to not help anyone else but himself. Oh, okay. That's that's, uh, going back to the... The Texas storm where everybody was, you know, getting flooded out and everything. And he's in Texas. He's in Texas. And he didn't help them. he didn't help anybody. Are you sure about that? this mega gigantic church that could have held thousands of people. Lovely man. Lovely. Yeah. And seven years after an estimated $600,000 was stolen from said church. (sighs) The $600,000 w- was found in envelopes 
in a wall in the bathroom of said church. Wait, they found it in walls? In, well, in okay. the bathroom walls. No, no. Don't can know I, why. Can I stop you? Sure. And one more time say my favorite line. This world is a sewer. It sure is. Yeah. That's your guy? That's it. <laughs> okay. Joel Osteen. Oh, mine is Kenan Thompson. What? He's another Saturday Night Live cast member. Yeah. How is that show still on? I don't know. Really, a bunch of mediocre people laughing at themselves. One big circle jerk. Uh-huh. Anyway, Kenan Thompson seems to be everywhere. Yes. He's in television commercials and whatnot. And I don't know why. He might be a nice guy, but I don't care. He's not all that funny. He's like that other guy from Saturday Night Live. The guy with the, all the tattoos. Can't remember his name. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pete something or other. Yeah. Idiot. But uh, he's like all of the other Saturday Night Live cast members. Not mm-hmm. funny at all. No. Years ago, he was in a movie with actor Kel Mitchell. It was called Good Burger. I still haven't seen that movie. Now, he was not funny in that movie. The character Kel Mitchell played, Ed, was funny. Ah. Now there's a rumor that Good Burger 2 is happening. What? More than two decades after the first one. Wow. Proving that Hollywood simply cannot and will not figure a way to make a good, decent, original film. No. They keep regurgitating the bullshit that's already out there. So now Kenan Thompson can be unfunny. (laughs) <laughs> and the Good Burger and sequel yet as well. another one, yeah. Looking forward to yet another second-rate Hollywood offering. Oh. And that is Celebrity Rant on the show that hates. <laughs> That's true. You told me to watch that movie, and I, I did. still have not. My niece had me watch it years ago. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, how ridiculous. But I'll watch it with her. And mm-hmm. I liked it. I did like it. Hmm. But now they're doing another one? And it does not deserve a sequel. Let me put it that way. They seemed like stoners, but it was almost like no. It was uh, a kids movie. It was a kids movie. But the but the character was definitely Ed, the yeah. main character. Yeah, he was kind of uh, yeah party dude. Mm. Yeah, or acted like one. Right. Moving on. Oh, I was getting <laughs> moving on again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's listener rant where our listeners send in the things that aggravate them. So you can go to RadioactiveRant.com, click on Listen to Rant to see what people hate. Mm-hmm. Go to the contact page. You can message us with what bugs you, and maybe we'll read it on the podcast. Here's a few things our listeners can't stand. <laughs> Scotty, uh-huh. Fort Madison, Iowa. Hey, Scotty. Scotty. If you're more than eight years old, <laughs> you need to dump the Y off your name. Come on. True. A man should not be called Scotty. Yeah. Go with Scott. You're welcome. That's it. Uh, Scotty, you know what? Scott, I'm doing you a favor, dude. There you go. Scott doesn't like uh, being hungry hours before someone should acceptably eat lunch. I just eat all day. Yeah. Solves that problem, Scotty. When you're hungry, just eat. Yeah. Dylan, now that's a man's name. Yes. Durham, North Carolina. No men there. (laughs) Uh, Dylan doesn't like assholes who wear their pajamas in public. Yeah. Yeah. Slag heaps. But they're cool, man. Are they? (laughs) No. Uh -uh. Anna, Friday Harbor, Washington. Anna doesn't like employers who think since you don't have kids, you don't need or deserve time off. Is that a thing? What? Then have kids? If you don't have (laughs) kids, you're undeserving of time off? So wow. you're penalized for not having children who most times turn out to be brats and feel entitled <laughs> and wear pajamas in public. Yes. You know what? That's fine. Don't have kids. Ooh, I wouldn't yeah. take any time off then. It's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> Gary Carson, California. Huh? Where's that? Carson. You should know everywhere in California. No. You know? I think that's in the interior, like mid California. I could be wrong. Well, Gary doesn't like when people spit on you when they talk. Yeah, that's not pleasant. You know, I just spit on people. (laughs) No talking. Just spitting. (laughs) It's fun. Kent, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Holy mother of pearl. Talk about a shitty beach. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Kent. But yeah. (laughs) Oh, man, I hate Myrtle Beach. Sorry, Kent. Spent a day there one week. I 
did a week there not. Mm-hmm. I was going to. Uh-huh. Got the hell out. <laughs> All right, Kent. For Myrtle Beach. <laughs> see, it just happens. <laughs> you say Myrtle Beach, and it happens there yeah. when you hear the thing. All right, Kent. Sorry, you're up. Uh, Kent doesn't like when you text someone and you see the little bubble with the dots and then it disappears without a message back. Yeah. I get that. I don't like that either. I do hate that. I don't know why that bothers me. It's like they're, they're thinking about something they're writing to you. Yeah. And then you're not worth their time. That's how I feel. All right. So Kent, sorry, you're from Myrtle beach, (laughs) but that was a good rant. And can't or something that you don't like. It's not too late to get out. <laughs> Just move. <laughs> and that is listen to rants. <laughs> Yay. Well, I'm glad it's over. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So the old clock over. on the wall. Well, it's not up there that anymore. One. But well, the old there. clock on the wall says it's time for us to scoot the hell out of here. Good All right. So we will talk to you another time. Bye bye. <laughs> You just heard the Radioactive Rant podcast with Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Find out more at RadioactiveRant.com. I'm Doc Holliday for Radioactive Rant. 